Ladies and gentlemen, also the barber and Drew the barber. Today, we're gonna talk about TPOB Ghost and we're gonna talk about the... My, my favorite, the detailer. The wall detailer, absolutely. Good vibes only, people. So there's been a talk around town about TPOB. Is it a knockoff brand? Is it a real brand? Is it a good brand? There's a lot to be said. I actually absolutely love TPOB outliners and their fading tools. I really don't have any experience with them, so I can't comment on them. It wouldn't be right for me to weigh in on that, but the outliners are phenomenal. And every single outliner pretty much uses the platform of a, another outliner that's on the market, whether it's from Babyliss or from um, Wall, well, allegedly Wall, because that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about is the ghost secretly the Wall detailer. So before you guys got here, I already took the liberty of taking off the blade on the wall because if you don't take the blade off you can't open the housing to it to show it so there's been some rumors about the wall detailer secretly being excuse me the tpob ghost secretly being the wall detailer but before i get there i'm going to talk to you real quick about wall detailer i do not use a wall senior i know it's a phenomenal clipper wall is a top-notch premium brand at least it was i don't know if it still is because i don't use the senior but i know one thing with all these new outliners coming out from all these new companies, the Wall Senior, excuse me, the Wall Detailer still holds weight in my book. It's a fantastic outliner. The teeth are deep, but not that deep. So you have the best median between outlines and cleaning up. See, that's the thing. If you guys don't realize the deep teeth, the deeper the tooth, the more sharp the outline. However, if you go to clean up a whole area like this, it'll pull the skin. So this is a nice median between deep and not too deep. Now, just for reference, I wanna show you guys the TPOB cycle blade on the Troll. You see the difference in the teeth, how much deeper they are on the cycle blade. There's your cycle blade and there's your wall detailer blade. Huge difference. I don't know if you guys, it really justifies on camera how much deeper the cycle blade is, but this would be for outlines primarily and this would be for both outlines and cleaning up. Now, going back to the ghost, right? Like I said, I had to remove the blade. So you have the XO blade, or rather the X blade on the ghost, and I wanna show you the blades side by side. This is a lot harder than I thought to hold the two blades. Yeah, there's your ghost blade. It's a little hair on it, I'm sorry. There's your ghost blade, that's the X blade. If you wanna see the marking on the bottom, it's just X, T-P-O-B. And then there's your wall five star T wide blade, right? So I noticed the blades are different. That's the first thing. So the blade on the TPOB Ghost is a little bit deeper than the blade on the detailer. So I think now comes the moment of truth where we take a look inside. I already have all these things open. So we're gonna take a look at the rotary motor on this. I believe I got all the screws. We're gonna lift this face plate up. We're gonna expose what's in there. We're gonna find out if this is the same thing. So first the chrome piece is separate. I didn't expect that to happen. I expected this whole piece to lift up and we sort of exposed inside. I think I'm just have to pry it off. Seems to be giving me a little bit of problem. Sorry guys, I didn't anticipate this. Oh, there we go. Okay. I just dropped another screw, but I'll get that in a few. So there is the rotary motor of the wall detailer. You got your battery, your circuit board, your motor. It's definitely a little dirty. I'm going to clean that out. I think it's the same machine. I've heard rumors. Let's find out. And then we're going to talk about price because price is crazy. Price is huge on this one. So I think I got all the screws on, on the TPOB Ghost. I'm just trying to use my fingernail to pry it open. And I'm having a little bit of problem. Okay. What do you guys think? Also, you think it's the same machine? I think it's the same machine. Because the guy who owns the pistol barber himself said it's similar. So I don't know if he's saying that for legal purposes, but it is the same, same factory. We're going to see. Wow, this is... Wow, wow, it's not the same. Really it's not the same, guys. The rumors may not be true. There's your ghost. Actually, I should hold them up this 
Where do we go this way? The ghost on the pink, or candy as they call it, and the detailer right here on this side. Definitely different, different motors. I did feel like the detailer was stronger, but I didn't think that the ghost was weak either though. You know, it, it could use a little more push, but it's more than acceptable for professional work, especially if you're not really using it for outlines. You're just using it for customers who go around the ears and the neck. The ghost is a win. But I was hoping that it was the same tool, to be honest with you, because I thought I was gonna be able to report an amazing bang for your buck. It's different though. So it turns out the ghost is the ghost. And I'm not really sure if maybe, maybe they updated the detailer because I got an older drop with the detailer. Do you think maybe the new detailer, this could be the new details motor? You gotta get a gold or a black detailer. That's right, those are the updated uh, detailers, I don't know. I'm not crazy about this. So my boy got the new high vents, trash from Wolf. Yeah. So that's the new one that they swear about on digital. I found the detailer better than the high vents. Oh, you can't say anything bad about the detailer. It's a great clipper. Yeah, but so they charge a top dollar, almost 200 bucks for this high vents, and I find the detailer better. What What do you think about the high vents, though? Like what? So I use it. So I use a lot of different ones, and um, the high vents piece just wasn't sharp, and I and I zero gapped it. Mm. And they swear it was supposed to be sharp, like the cold coals or the sabers or the cold FX. That was supposed to be the next best thing from the walls. Mm -hmm. And I found that the phase was better with the detailer. Very interesting. So guys, price point on the detailer is about $100 with the, the cordless version. And price point on the TPOB, I think it's 40 bucks or 50, it's 40 or 50, maybe 45. But I got this on sale for $23. And for $23, it is a no brainer. I mean, come on, man. For $23, you have a, a professional grade lithium battery and a, a blade that's perfectly fine. You know, is it a deep tooth? No, but it's general work gets done with this. So for me, I have the TPOB Demon. I use that for outlines. I have two TPOB Trolls for outlines, and then this is to clean up all the way around. So this doesn't need to be, you know, something like that. Very, very sharp. But for kids, and for general clients who don't get shaped up beards or even outlines, square outlines, pointy sideburns, guys that don't get that, that's the move right there. So, oh, by the way, if you guys are, are not scared away by clippers with cords, the wall detailer corded is still an amazing decision as well. If you're on a budget and you, know, you just wanna get to work and save up some better equipment, don't sleep on the corded the corded wall detailer. I had one for years. It was given to me a gift as a gift from my home girl, Doll. So shout out to you, Doll. I appreciate you. That's it, guys. There's nothing else I can say. The science experiment is complete. Now I dropped a piece of this when I opened this, showing this to you guys in the name of science. So I have to look for it. And yeah, I'm gonna have a great time looking for that piece. Um yeah. Anything you want to add? No? Yeah. Guys, it's a quiet day. It's a Tuesday. Uh, me and also just been talking about Christmas and, and the fun we had, you know, and that's it. We'll get up with you brothers and sisters at another date. The boy drew him out. Your boy also, he's in there. He's in there. We got to get this back on the tripod, you know. <laughs> guys, I thought I was all done, but I'm not all done. I want to show you guys the sound, the sound. So obviously the detailer is a little louder, but the detail also probably has considerable about a cons I can't I don't know why I can't say that a considerable amount of more horsepower because the larger motor. Um, I don't know, man. For price, I think it's a no-brainer. I'm gonna go out and say it. It's the TPOB. But if price is not a problem, some people got deep pockets. This is the winner. So if price is an issue. You have nothing to worry about. You can get the, the TPOB Ghost. But they do have interchangeable blades. So this is the X-Blade. This is their basic bottom bottom tier blade. But you can put the Cycle Blade on this as well. Or the Crazy Blade if you want a deep tooth blade. But for price, this is the no-brainer. But if you got deep pockets, you won't be upset. But I just heard 
that the price is higher than what I paid. I said 100 earlier, but this is down to 150, right? And I brought this home just for my own beard. I think I might even bring it back. <laughs> might bring it back to work and bring this one home for the beard. I don't know, we'll see. But I have so many tools now. I kind of went off the deep end recently getting new stuff. So that's it guys, I just wanted to make that last point about sound, because some people that matters, doesn't bother me too much again. So, you know, I'm not even raising my voice, but either of them, it's a little bit louder. It's not that serious, not that serious. Anyway, 